Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Penn State Nittany Lions and the New Hampshire Wildcats. It's showtime, baby. Let's get the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Wildcats are definitely going to have to fight to keep up in this one, Dick. What's the key to their success tonight? I would say that these are the keys tonight. First, the point guard has to be the leader out there. He's got to be the coach on the floor. Second of all, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. Lastly, play as a five-man unit defensively. Have rhythm. Be ready to rotate. Help one another on penetration. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Both teams looking to get things going here. Top of the circle. Way off target. The center handles the pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He shoots from the top of the key. Number 23 receives the ball. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block for the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Looking for a good shot. Wide open for the shot. Number 23 grabs it. Shows patience waiting for the reset. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Number five is fired up and ready to go. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He shoots from the top of the circle. That's an ill-advised shot. Brad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. From beyond the arc. And the bricks just keep on coming, baby. I have to start looking for some easier baskets here, Dick. There's a bad pass right to the defender. post screen number 11 draws the personal he is going to the line misses the free one misses the second he takes the board. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. They work it around the arc. Inside. There's a double team waiting there. Definitely a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. For two, doesn't go. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Stop and pop. No luck finding the basket the last few trips down court, Dick. What they need are some easy layups or a couple of nice putbacks. He'll regroup the offense. Tries for two. 
It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'd be in trouble without him. Fakes the jumper. That's exactly what they expect from him. That young man is doing some great things for this program, Dick. Every college coach in America would love a player like him, Mr. Nestler. Too much. That's a foul. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot will go. Number 21 steps to the line for the first time. It's the first shot. New Hampshire are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. And he got them both. three-quarter position trying to deny but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball the skip pass is picked off jumps in he shields himself from the screen and scores the basket our three-prong attack tonight ladies and gentlemen I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline he takes a three, gets it to go. Oh, we got a replay of that one. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Did you get the steal? You're a hero. But you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal. The small forward handles the feed. That was a high post screen. Goes for the lane. And a momentary look from three-point land. Jumper! Jumper won't go. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Picked out of the air. On the outside. On the inside. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and end the move. And he does it exceptionally well. There's the screen up on top. Perfectly executed. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Attempts a jump hook and off the mark. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. Had a guy in the post but elected to reverse the ball. He shoots from downtown. Tickles a twine. Roll it back, fellas. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented Barth is there. Yeah, that helps. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Inside, number one receives the pass. He unloads a three. Way off target. Goes up for two. He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One on one. For two. 
Can't get the shot to go. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Great play to take that to the basket. Fed the low block. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. The Nittany Lions have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Trying to pack it inside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Off the rim and no good. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Kicking back outside. Nice high post screen. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Got to think right now, got to focus defensively. New Hampshire are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And Dick, the shooting woes continue from behind the arc. Hey, that's a couple in a row now with them come up empty. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He takes the shot. He seems determined to take the tough shot. But they're not falling, and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. For the bucket, he gets it to go. He shoots from the top of the key. He's doing a terrible job of distributing the ball. They may have to pull him out and let somebody else out there and let him think about it for a while. Step out on that screener. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. A chance for two. First shot is good. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. They scored seven in a row. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Brad and Dick, I'm down here by the losing team's bench. Their coaching staff is reminding them, look, it's just your nerves. Relax. It's only the first half. This team feels once they've settled in, they can take over here in the first half. Inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. On the outside, looking for a good shot. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Looking for the foul. Nice shot. Up and inside. The Nittany Lions have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Boards it. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. Number 23 is pounded on his way up. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Concentration, got to concentrate. Way Rick short. City. Makes the second shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. There's the trap. He up fakes. Goes up for two. And in and out. Number 11 looks to be down emotionally. Brad, he's at what many people call a funk. Emotionally, he's got to turn things around. Or two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. The high screen. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The ball goes out of bounds. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what a motion, what an edge for the home team. And a momentary look from three-point land. Entry pass in the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people into foul trouble. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Now they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. 
Perfectly executed. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He missed the inside shot off the screen. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the talking. Number five goes to the line for the first time. Gets the first. Gets two at the charity strike. Shoots from the angle. Scorches the net. Number 11. Modest play is having a negative effect on his composure. Emotionally, he couldn't be much lower, I don't think. Well, he knows he's not getting it done. And emotionally, it's bringing him down. On the dribble, gives it up. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts you can play, Hop. Huh? There's the block, and the ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Looking for a good shot. Run him right at the sweep. Gets the rejection. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. It's good. Down he goes, and no foul called either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you're kidding me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, the good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He makes a nice shot fake. Stolen. What a great strip. Steals a pass. Gave it up. Now they'll bring it up. Dump it inside. He looks for three. He buries the shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Two for one opportunity. Accepts it. For two, perfectly executed. 
Shot clock is dead. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Working it around the perimeter and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. He tries the three. Off the rim and no good. At halftime, the Wildcats lead by nine. It's been a tight battle so far, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half in your book? Hey, when the three balls are falling, Brad, you feel like your team can do anything, baby, as we see in this long distance bomb. Second half about to get underway. Let's go down to the action. New Hampshire came up huge on the boards in the first half. You're right, Brad. They were extremely productive on cleaning the glass. They were like the Windex man, man. They were cleaning the glass. If you control the glass, you win the ball game, baby. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. They're working around the perimeter. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. That was absolutely phenomenal. Gave it up. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. In the paint. Fakes the shot. He attempts a jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. They'll work it around the arc. Trying to draw the foul. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. It's that what makes college so special. The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Tries for two. And he missed. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries to get the D to bite. He takes the shot from the baseline. Goes. There's the fake. Up fake. Ball comes back out from the post. Right there, Brad. You gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the outside. He gives him the fake. He shoots from the top of the key. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. perimeter rejected he looks to run for two look at that try there that's more like my stuff wow little Barishnikov right there you always were a dancer <laughs> pump fakes for the deuce drops the bucket despite the harm Moving it around the perimeter. Intercepted. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic.
Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using... Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Stolen ball. The point guard gets the pass. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. The center gets the ball. Tries for two. And off the mark. The power forward with the ball. He shoots from the elbow. Drains it. They work the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely, getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He'll attempt two shots. Free throw is good. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Misses the second shot. Gave it up. Got a nice screen. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. The small forward takes the feed. They move it into the front court. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up from three-point range. Drains the shot. Cue up the replay, fellas. Takes away the pass. Look at that spacing. Let's it fly. He buries it. Replay of the night, baby. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. 
The center takes the pass. Goes up for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Count that as a personal foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, it's obvious their backs are against the wall. It's going to take a lot of fight and desire to get back into this one. Defensive stops are the words that come to mind, and without them, they just don't have a chance. Thanks, Aaron. Sets the screen for his teammate. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He shoots from long range. He hits the shot. Tries the turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Way off target. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. That's a 7-0 run. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Gave it up. On the inside, number five makes a great move to draw the foul. That's a 9 nothing run. And now he's got a little something for the crowd. They're not going to like this. They're going to be offended. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Got it. That's a 10-zip run. surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Steals the pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. I post screen, going to use it. They work it around the perimeter. There's the pick. He puts it up. Can't get it to go. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nails it from another state. The Wildcats are ahead by eight. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Takes the pass in the paint. On the dribble, gives it up. He strokes it, rims out. The defense is really commanding the tempo. Hey, they're keeping him out of sync. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Off the rim and no good. Picks off the lazy pass. Has a nice look at the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. From three-point territory, off the rim and no good. Up and inside. He tries the jumper. Busts the jumper. And 
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of Pack and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. Penn State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Got it. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Takes it off him. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Puts up the tray. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside shooters. They've got to attack inside and then out. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Gave it up. High post screen. He takes the shot off the baseline. Rims out. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Barry's at home. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. Offensively, this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right time. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. The man is off the charts, Brad. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. That's a high post screen, goes to the lane. Up fake. He'll kick it back outside. From beyond the arc. And hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? On the dribble, gives it up. Looks at a three. Off the rim and no good. Brad, this place will be deafening if they can score here. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. This place will go senseless, Dick, if they can get a stop. Moving it around the perimeter. Dickie's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. The Wildcats are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. And the ball goes out of bounds. Takes the shot, rims out. For the bucket, doesn't go. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He shoots from left of the circle. That was nice.
for two. Perfectly executed. They work the perimeter. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He launches the bomb. Off the rim and no good. On the outside, in the post. Penn State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Defense giving some room. He shoots from the top of the key. He drains the shot. Steals the ball. They push it up on the break. Nice shot. Spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. Up and inside. He fires from long range. Oh, yes. Timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. For the deuce, rims out. Pushes it up. Kicks it out. Gets it back out. In the paint. Ten on the shot clock. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. I tell you, it's time to start fouling. The runner stopped the clock. Stop with a foul. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Three on the shot clock. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. One plus one if it's good. No doubt. Calls for a timeout. He wants to talk some things over. We get ready to bounce back into action here. Well, the lead is 10, Dick. Are you starting to hear the fat lady? Well, Brad, she could be warming up right now. Now they work it around the perimeter. Picked off. And yet another foul. To the line. Wide, short, long, doesn't matter, doesn't go. Intercepted. And the clock stopped with a foul. Mm -hmm. 
Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Hits the second. He shoots from right of the circle. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks, Brad. They need some buckets, and they need them in a hurry. Cross court. On the dribble, gives it up. Come with a double team to stop it. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brown, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, I'll tell you, won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Wildcats played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first-round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler saying so long.